Listen to Herbert Marshall as The Man Called X. Wherever there is mystery, adventure, intrigue, in all the strange and dangerous places of the world, there you will find The Man Called X. It's the largest island in the Mediterranean. It guards the gateway to Turkey, Greece, Suez, the Middle East. We saved it from one enemy during World War II. We may be losing it to another in the Cold War of today. The name of the island? Sicily. In the small village of Arixi, Sicily, a country fair is being held. A lad of 16 stands in the throng surrounding one of the prize attractions, and then steps forward toward the proud, beaming exhibitor. Buongiorno, senor. Buongiorno, my young friend. Is there something I can do for you today? There is, senor. You have something for sale that I wish to buy. Ah, see, si, see. Si. Undoubtedly, you are a wealthy landowner for somewhere about who wishes to purchase farming equipment for your large estates, eh? No, senor. But I am interested in something here. I wish to purchase that tractor. Ah, the farm tractor. It is no wonder you are interested in that, my lad. It is the only one of its kind ever to be brought here. It cannot be duplicated this side of Palermo. Look at it, my friend. A rugged giant of a machine that will do the work of 50 horses on your farm. Senor, we are wasting time. Please be quiet, young one. You see, my friends, this marvelous machine was constructed in the United States of America. And I guarantee that it's Senor, not only... I said that we are but wasting time. I have already told you I wish to purchase the tractor. So, you wish to purchase it, do you? And what of the lira it will require to make such a purchase? That is unimportant, senor. That tractor will mean salvation for hundreds of people. Salvation? What nonsense is this? The tractor is priced at 2,500 American dollars. Now, either you let me see your money or get out of here. I have here, senor, enough lira for 273 American dollars. I ask that you accept them in partial payment for the tractor. Partial payment? The next fall, when our harvest is in, we shall pay the remainder. Why, you little... Surely you cannot refuse. Not when the very life of our Get village... Get out! Get out, you! You! Waste of my time, will you? Talk nonsense about salvation, will you? Well, I shall give you a lesson you long remember. I shall... All right, let go of the boy. Do not interfere in something that does not concern you, senor. I shall let go of him. Si, si, senor. I will let go. So I can take care of you. Not that way, my friend. Oh! Thank you, senor. It was a great favor. Someday Alberto will repay you. Well, why not do it now, Alberto? How, senor? Satisfy my curiosity. I'd like to know the connection between a $2,500 tractor and salvation. You see, senor... I was sent here to the fair by the people of my village, the village of Ciento. Ciento? A small farm community, isn't it? Some 75 kilometers north of here? Si. Yes. And without that tractor, Ciento would be a dead village within a year. How does that figure? Our land is rough and barren, senor. Our farming equipment is crude and old. And most of our young men have gone to the cities for work. But you only have $273. It was all the money my people could raise. The women even sold their wedding rings. Well, didn't you know it wouldn't be enough? All I know is that my village cannot be allowed to die. Yes. I think you're right. So, you have a return to Chento, Alberto. And you bring a no tractor with you. That is true, Mia Nona. But I have brought this gentleman to visit. He is Senor Ken Thurston. Senor Thurston, my grandmother, Senora Asunta. I'm honored, Senora Asunta. I'm very you welcome, Senor. Alberto, go into the house and fetch some wine. And perhaps some biscuits may be found for our guests. See, Mia Nona, at once. 
You must be very proud of your grandson, Signora. Ah, I see. He is a wonderful lad, Alberto. A dreamer, thinker, even a prophet in his way. Prophet? See, si, Signor. That is why the villager sent him to Arachel when he had his dream. Oh? What dream is there? Of a resurrection, Signor. A new life had to come to Ciento. To be brought here by the presence of a tractor. I see. What about the troubles of the village, Signora? Ah, they are not difficult to understand, Signor. First the fascisti, then the war. Afterwards, poverty, hunger. Yes. Is it any wonder that our young people's minds are filled with thoughts of revolution and violence? That they no longer look toward Rome for help, but toward Moscow. And the same is true in much of Sicily, Signor. That is why we must have the tractor. To prove that we can help ourselves. Bring back prosperity to our lands and people. I can't argue with that, Alberto. It's all, Signora Sonda. I say that our child prodigy has returned. And without the promised tractor, huh? And if he has, Signor Savelli. Maybe perhaps your villagers will listen to me. Uh, now, rather than this uh, infant prophet of yours. <laughs> Are you willing to sell your lands to me now? Huh? Sell them. At the price that you wish to pay, we would be giving them away. Call it what you will, Signora. At least I offer you something. But you will have to decide quickly. Once the planting season is over, I will no longer be interested. You have my offer? It will remain open until it is the Sunday. Well, sounds like he's trying to buy up farming land around here for practically nothing. Yes, Signor. So far, most of the villagers will not sell to him. Because of Alberto's dream about the tractor. But if we cannot give him the means to, to make something of the lands... I don't think you have to worry about that anymore, Signora. I have a hunch that Alberto's prophecy is going to come true. Let me get this straight, Ken. You want a requisition to purchase a tractor? That's right, Chief. We've got ECA funds earmarked for farm machinery. Well, sure, but not for individual purchases like that. When I think of all the red tape involved... Oh, Chief, it's not red tape we have to worry about in Sicily. Oh. Well, what do you want me to do? Pagon Zellschmidt was hanging around the ECA offices in Palermo. Have him pick up a requisition order and bring it to me at the village fair in Aritzi. Well, all right, Ken. I only hope you know what you're doing. Chief... All I know is that a hungry people get desperate. And desperate people are capable of anything. Even of taking swords that have been beaten into plowshares and beating them back into swords again. You send for me, Senor Savelli? Si, Juliana, si. I have a work for you. You, you will pay me for it in silver? <laughs> in silver, Julia. Ah, bon, bon. What is it you wish me to do? Listen carefully. An Americano by the name of a Senor Thurston has just left Ciento. Senor Thurston? Yes. Si, si. I think that he intends to purchase a tractor for the village. And the two of us, my friend, we are going to take any measure that might be necessary to see that he does not succeed. In just a moment, we will return to the man called X. The United Negro College Fund, by aiding 32 private colleges and universities, helps deserving young Americans to become teachers, doctors, social workers who help to bring about interracial harmony wherever they serve. Now, you can share in this constructive work by contributing generously to the 1952 campaign of the United Negro College Fund. The address is 22 East 54th Street, New York City. And now, Act Two of The Man Called X, starring Herbert Marshall, with Leon Belasco as Pagan Zellschmidt.
It was at a village fair in Sicily that Ken Thurston met the strange and somber lad, Alberto. Alberto, who had a vision of a giant American tractor that would be the symbol of Sicily's future. A tractor that would restore the farmlands to fertility and prove to his people that they could find salvation within themselves and not in the promises of Moscow. Believe me, Mr. X, for a couple of minutes or two, I was thinking that you forgot all about your oldest and dearest friend. Where are you, Pagan? Oh, sure. Uh, giving me the brush out in Palermo. And, 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 but, but, but the chief called me. And now you're here to render your invaluable services. <laughs> yeah, for a slight consideration, of course. So what are we going to do in this crumbum Arici joint, anyway? Buy a tractor? Huh? Buongiorno, signores. And what can I do for you this fine... Oh. And what is it you wish this time, signor? That tractor's still for sale? See. Si. For $2,500, American. I'll take it. I... Here, an ECA purchase order. The bank here will honor it. You... You are serious, senor. You... Grazie. Senor, grazie. Have it serviced and ready to run by tonight. We'll come back to pick it up. Si, si, senor. I will have it in my shed over there. All ready for you. Okay, Peg, on. Let's go. But, Mr. Thurston, my cousin... $2,500 American. Wait until I tell Maria. Wait. The bank. I must get to the bank before it closes. Uh, your perdon, senor. Eh? Eh? But... You are the one who has the tractor for sale? No, no, not any longer, senor. I have just sold it to the Americano. And now if you... Uh, one more question, please. See? That tractor, there are no others like it anywhere around. Indeed, not, senor. Not any closer than Palermo. But you will excuse me. I have a business at the bank. See, senor. See, si. si, I will excuse you, senor. You have been most kind. Most kind indeed. How do you like that? Chisels you out for 2,500 bucks for a hunk of machinery, and you don't even come out of that shed to deliver it. There's a light inside. I wonder... Yeah. Come on. Hmm. How do you like that? No tractor, no. The joint's empty. Is it? Look up there. With that rafter. And there's a... Oh, Mr. X. Hanging from that rope. Yeah. But... But who did it to him, Mr. X? Somebody who didn't want that tractor to reach Tiento. Who didn't want a miracle to happen at Easter. I don't get it, Mr. X. Why did we come down here to the railway stations for? Because the tractor was driven here. But it's not here now. Hey, maybe it was loaded on board that train that's pulling out. No, look, look here. The lug marks lead right over there. Up that ramp to the boxcar on the siding. Hey, then maybe it's inside there. Mr. X, come on, let's see. <laughs> Arrivederci, signora. Sono Alberto. I see you in church again, son. Farewell. Yes, see. Aye. 
Uh, we shan't be in church Easter Sunday. But it will be no day of blessedness with this village. No day of resurrection for Chien. You despair too quickly, Bianona. This is only Good Friday. Senor Thurston still has two days in which to arrive. He has had more than enough time to buy the tractor at Arici and drive it here. No, Alberto, like the Pachisti and the others, he but crucifies this on a cross of empty promises. to go to Palermo, Mr. X. Even if we buy another tractor there, we couldn't drive it to Chienta in time. That's right, Pagan. So maybe we'll put wings on it and fly it there. Huh? I have some information I think you want to hear about Senor Thurston. What are you talking about, Giuliano? Eh? What would you think if the Senor Thurston drove a tractor into Ciento on this beautiful Easter morning? Are you crazy, Giuliano? We blew up that tractor. Si, si, but we did not blow up the ones in Palermo, Senor. Palermo? Si, I saw a cargo plane land about an hour ago, some 20 kilometers from here. A tractor was aboard. Then what are you doing here, you fool? We've got to stop him. Senor, to get there, he must drive the tractor over the bridge at Devil's Gorge, see? 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 See, that's right, <laughs> And uh, what about that bridge? Eh? It has been prepared. Neither Senor Thurston nor the tractor will ever reach the end, huh? Why do you keep looking down the road toward Ricci, Alberto? Do you still believe the Americano would keep his word to us? He will keep his word, Mia Nona, if the angel of death does not interfere. The angel of death? See, si, in church it came to me, the vision. I saw rushing waters, a dark, brooding sky. There were falling timbers. And overall, the angel of death. A strange vision indeed, Alberto. What is its meaning? I... I do not know as yet, but the vision, the vision. Alberto, what is it? The bridge, that is it, the bridge at the Devil's Gorge. I must get there, Mianona, oh. I must get there in time. Some beautiful day, eh, Mr. X? Birds and bees and flowers and stuff. And I bet those people in Chianta will be plenty glad to see us all right, eh? Oh, I know they will. Oh, sure. This tractor will fix them up all hunky doodly. They'll be able to go to work again and have food again. They'll be singing and dancing in the streets. Oh, come to my home today and speak a lot at a home today. Oh, no, no. Hold it, Pagan. Huh? Look there, at the road up ahead. Hey, what's that you look at? Just a bridge crossing in a big hole in the ground. And... Hey, hey, there's somebody in a buggy on the other side. Yeah, Alberto. He's waving at us and calling and stuff. M must be pretty heavy. We're getting there with a the tractor, all right, huh? Suppose we find out, Pagan. Let's get across that bridge. No, no, they cannot hear me. And they're just about to... Up there! Up now! Up! Oh, fellow! Oh, hurry! Hurry now! Up! Up! Hurry! Hurry now! Hurry!
Well, Signore, Easter has come, the church services are over, and no wonderful Americano has brought a track to the resurrect, Gento. Huh? Come into the house, Signor Savelli. There's nothing I can do now but sell out our land. No. You should be thankful that I'm willing to give you anything for your worthless soil. And what about Alberto and the tractor man of Darizzi? First, I asked you a question, Savelli. Should Alberto and the tractor man be thankful to you, too? What do you mean, signor? What about Alberto? Our friend Savelli here doesn't think much of human lives. Lives? You mean... You, you, you are most free with your accusations, signor. Fortunately, you cannot have any proof to back them up. Giuliano gave us all the proof we need. Gi- Giuliano? We found him hanging around the bridge, waiting to inspect the job you sent him on. I've heard enough. Do not move, either one of you. You're a fool, Thurston. I've already taken it two lives. I would not hesitate to take two more. Oh, I knew that, Savelli. All right, Pagon, come in. What? Pagon? Here I am, Mr. Thurston. Jiminy, the yards. He's got a gun. Not for long. <laughs> How they like that? You tell me to go on the porch and wait until you call me. Then I walk right into guns and stuff. So, Javelli has accused my grandson. My Alberto. I will take his gun and kill him in turn. I will. That's no answer, Signora. But I... You'll get justice in the courts. But who is there to see that Chianto receives the justice? What justice for Alberto, who has had his life taken from him. I think you're forgetting this is Easter, Signora Assunta. Forgetting the meaning of the words miracle, resurrection. What? What are you saying? Let's go to the door. Look there. Down the road. Senor. A tractor. I'm, I'm driving it. Waving towards us and smiling. It, it's Alberto. My Alberto. That's right, Senora. But I thought... So many... Oh, sure, he... He tried all right. I still don't know how, how the boy ever lived back there at the bridge. Why not, Pagan? It isn't the first time that a miracle's happened around Easter. our star, Mr. Herbert Marshall. Thanks for being with us. And my thanks to Loreen Tuttle, Will Wright, Alan Reed Jr., Tony Barrett, and Lou Merrill. Next week, a maverick steer, a bottle of germ culture, and a sultry brunette plunge Ken Thurston into a situation that can only mean one thing. Death. That might mean death for you. And for once, there'll be help from Pagan Zellschmidt otherwise known as Leon Belasco. So join us, won't you, when next I return as the man called X. Good night. The Man Called X, starring Herbert Marshall, is a J. Richard Kennedy production with music by Milton Charles. Tonight's story was written by Sidney Marshall. This program is directed by Jack Johnstone. All characters and incidents on this program are fictitious. And any resemblance to actual characters or incidents is purely coincidental. And now, until next week, same time and station, this is Hal Gibney saying good night for The Man Called X. This is NBC, the national broadcasting company. <laughs>